Hey folks, how y'all doing? Old man, we're cooking on the air fryer today, folks. You've seen, if you watch my channel, you know that I try out a lot of different uh, air fryers, and people ask me all the time, "What's my favorite?" And you're looking at it. I, I've I've had this for over two years now, the Kasori 5.8 quart. I also have uh, the Kasori. Now this looks like a toaster oven, but it's a toaster oven air fryer. It does it even has a rotisserie in it. it? It does a lot of cool things. So, but when it comes to using air fryers. Keep on coming back to it. And you read the red ones are going to do today. I'm going to take some pretzels, some sourdough hard pretzels from Schneider, and uh, I'm going to make some breading. I'm going to bread these chicken legs, and I'm going to show you how to do it. I tell you what, folks. Oh man, I am hungry. Let's get her going. All right, so there's our uh, sourdough hard pretzels, folks, and uh, I, I just put them in. A, you can use a food processor if you want, but you know, it's it's just more dishes for me to do. This is a lot easier. Just going like this. And uh, obviously you want to get them thinner than that. So I'm going to get them uh, nice and uh, nice and crushed down so they work as uh, good breading for your chicken. And remember, we're dealing with raw chicken here, so make sure you wash your hands, folks. So I'll get these uh, crunched up. Give you a look-see. All right, so <laughs> full disclosure, I cheated. Uh, uh, pretzels <laughs> were hurting my hand, so I uh, switched over to the... Uh, food tenderizer hammer and that busted a hole in the plastic bag and ended up in a mess so I said you know I have never used one of these magic bullet things and uh boy it worked pretty doggone I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use that for that though hopefully the wife doesn't watch and say you're not supposed to be using that for that so I, I, if, I if I did I'll apologize right now I'm, I'm sorry honey so I'll tell you what now let's get the breading our chicken all right you can see I got three of them breaded already I've got my chicken I just cold water folks that's it and then into our bag, and I'm not gonna play shake and bake or anything like that. I'm just gonna roll it around. It's a better way of uh, just containing it and making sure that you can use all of it. The smell from those pretzels, I tell you, oh man. That is uh, absolutely, see? Sticks, no egg wash, no milk, no nothing else. It, it just it just works. So I'll get the other one two done, and then we'll put it on the air fryer. All right, so there they are. I tell you, the smell from that breading. From those pretzels oh man i'll tell you what now some people will spray a little oil on them at this point just to help brown things up but you know what we we're, we're not going to we can always do that mid cook but in my opinion there's enough natural grease that'll come out of the uh those chicken legs that uh it'll take care of itself so uh, we're gonna we're gonna take the tamp up to its highest on the kasori which is 400 and we'll leave it at 15 because we're gonna turn them at 15 so just press play Give you a look in 15. All right, folks, coming up on 15 minutes here. Let's take a, let's get you back here. Let's, let's take a look, see, shall we? Oh man, remember I told you about the oils and the grease, natural grease coming out of chicken, making it brown up? Yeah, it's doing a really good. I'm gonna give them a quick, quick flip and then we'll keep, keep on going for probably another 15 minutes. All right, folks, on the course, sorry using the Schneider's family size, <laughs> why does that matter? Sourdough hard pretzels, I'll tell you what, oh man. Take a look at that. That's some nice looking chicken right there. Oh man, I, it, it's hot right now, folks, so I gotta let it cool down a little bit, but this is gonna be awesome. Tom Horseman on YouTube, folks, I'll tell you what, thumbs up, leave a comment. Have you tried this? Oh, you should. Keep on watching and you'll see more.